Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Akosia Behini. If you're new, you're welcome. In today's video, if you're a returning subscriber, my love, thank you so much for always coming back. I love you. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing um, these two new products that I have. This is the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation and the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. So, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing these two products, using them to create this look and basically talking about them. So, please keep on watching if you're interested. And without further ado, my loves, let's get right into the video. So I'm going to be reviewing the primer and the foundation. So I was sent these two products actually um, from Becca through a brand that I work with. So I decided that maybe you guys want to see a review, you know. Um, so here we have the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation in the shade Sienna. Oh my god. And then we have their primer, which is the backlight priming filter. Um, yeah, this is just this is just a primer. So um, a little bit of information on the foundation. So apparently this is their best seller. It's their ultimate coverage, 24 hour foundation, and non acnegenic, non acnegenic lightweight full full coverage foundation for 24 hour wear with a breathable natural finish um so that's that's what they say you get with the foundation so the primer is the backlight priming filter it's a primer that uses backlight technology to filter blare and diffuse for instant illumination for all skin tones i like the sound of that <laughs> i like the sound of that so it has um some sort of backlight technology i honestly don't know what that is but it gives you a blared, blared effect. It gives you like a nice canvas for the foundation. But it retails for $39. That's the primer for $39. The foundation actually retails for $44. The foundation retails for $44. Um, but it's on sale for $22. I'm going to leave a link in the description box below for anyone who wants to use this discount because from 44 to 22 girl you gotta make good use of this yeah so 44 and 22 that's what we're going to be reviewing today i just wanted to give you guys a little bit of information about that um so yeah without further ado let's just get into doing the makeup i'm going to start off with the primer off the pack i love i love the packaging let me just say that absolutely i don't think that these are new products anyways um i think these are products that becca has had for quite a while it's just new to me it's the first time that i'm going to be trying them um so yeah so i'm going to take some of the primer i said it i knew it it has it has a bit of a glow to it Hopefully you guys can see that But it definitely has a little bit of a glow to it Which I like I don't absolutely have a problem with that, but because I have oily skin. Oh, okay But it's not like it doesn't it's not hydrating It absorbs immediately, which is good, which is great. I love that I love a good primer it has it definitely has like a light like a highlighting thing to it see my forehead immediately looks really like <laughs> you know but like I said I like the primer it absorbs immediately so then that's a good thing um, and you don't you don't need to use too much I took just one pump and I don't think that I I don't need I don't think that I need all of it because I only prime areas where I need to prime. I prime my T-zone areas. So, uh, yeah. But that's that on the primer. It's not bad. It applies good. Um, it applies good. Yeah. I'll tell you guys how I feel after the entire look. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do my concealing. You, you guys know that I do like and the painting before I do my foundation. So, I'll do all of that. And then, I just want to review these two products. So, I don't want to take you guys through like a whole process of me doing my makeup and all of that stuff. So, let me do my 
concealer and everything underneath even though low-key i would like to know like how this will look on my skin before i put on a concealer you know um because off off like the bottle it looks a little light for me um but yeah we'll, we'll, we'll make it work anyway so i'm gonna do my concealer do my like under thingy just do the same process that I always do, just so that I know that this can fit in like my everyday routine. I don't want to do a whole different thing that I never do, you know? So I'm going to do the same things that I usually do, um, my concealer and everything, and then I'll come back and then we'll do the foundation. Okay, so my underpainting is done. I'm going to go ahead and use the foundation now. So the foundation, we have this in the shade Sienna. And like I said, off um, just looking at the packaging, I feel like it's not going to be my shade. But let's see how that goes. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to take start off with one pump. Ooh, definitely feels thick. <laughs> and I'm going to use my beauty blender. This is a dumb beauty blender, by the way. I'm going to use that. It is definitely very light. It is definitely very light so i'm gonna start off on the bottom part of my face and see how much <laughs> coverage it gives me because i need a lot of coverage around my lip area but it blends in really good and like fast which is not a problem but it is light it's light so i'm glad that um I went ahead to do my underpainting and I'm glad that my highlight my contour my contour shade is not like is really dark today I went for a really dark contour shade because I knew that it could it just could be light you know so yeah I'm not mad but it's not an everyday foundation that I can wear because it's, it's not like my skin shade it's gonna be essentially very it's gonna be very different from my neck very different which i am not so much of a fan of so now i'm gonna use just a few taps all over my face i'm not sure that i can get through with all of the one pump and it's good that i did my underpainting before putting on the foundation just so that I don't have to use so much of the foundation to cover up my face you know so yeah I'm not mad at the coverage even though yeah I'm not mad at the coverage I'm not mad at how it blends it actually blends easy I don't want to do too much because that will be way too different from my neck area um, which is what I'm trying to prevent right now but yeah I think that if I had gotten, I think that if they sent me like my exact shade, I would have loved this foundation, no doubt. Because it's full coverage, I love me a good full coverage foundation. So this is what we have as coverage. And the coverage is beautiful, let me just say that, it's beautiful. If I did get a much, like a much more darker shade, I would have absolutely loved this. It would, it would have been like a part of my everyday stash but this is something that i have to make work <laughs> and it's only a shade that i can wear in winter i'm not mad i'm not i'm not mad you know honestly i'm not mad i was just hoping that it was going to be like my actual shade just so that i could use it a lot more <laughs> i just wanted to use it a lot more but um yeah it's it's gonna have to be that foundation that I work my way around it's not so bad um, it's not so bad because I didn't use all of one pump if I did use all of one pump I'm very sure that you would have seen like the demarcation of my face and then my neck but all in all I'm not mad I'm not mad now I'm gonna go ahead and just set my face using the same products that I've been using every day um, using the Maybelline fit me loose finish powder because i already did my underpainting job so i don't have to put on a concealer and i'm happy that i did that before because then my foundation would have like given me a, like a much more lighter base and then now my concealer would have been a, too much so that's why i like this underpainting method 
because it just balances it out really nice I'm not mad i'm not mad i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and my eye area off camera nothing extra trust me nothing extra i'm just gonna do that off camera and then come back so we can finish off the rest of the face and then we can talk about this product these two products we can finally talk about them okay 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 we're done now um this is the combo that i did um let's ignore everything ignore the eyes anything that's not today's focus now today's focus is these two babies right here becca's primer and then their foundation um matter of fact i need to do a wet test to be able to tell you guys how i feel about this how long it lasts um how long you can wear it for if it can hold up some oils you know all of that kind of stuff i didn't do i didn't use my regular primer but i still did my regular routine so hopefully this is able to hold up with like my regular routine at the end of the day which i'm going to show you guys but this is what we have right now i love my hair let me just say that i love my hair my hair is growing anyway um this is the final look my small lines i'm definitely expecting that by the end of the day because they even started showing already but yeah i am gonna wait this out wait till evening till like 7 p.m ish hopefully i don't fall asleep but say 7 p.m or 6 p.m ish i'm gonna show you guys how this holds up if this is something that you should buy this is something you should try you know um but overall currently i love it i love the coverage i love how it looks like the finish everything looks okay it looks like i makeup that i love so yeah um i'm gonna wait this out like i said wait this out for a few hours and then come back i'll show you guys maybe five to six hours come back show you guys how it looks like at the end of the day and then we'll decide if we should buy it maybe i'll just show you okay guys so it is 6 46 p.m right now when i finished recording this it was 12 ish i did tell you guys that it was 12 ish um i only took off my lip because i ate um and i usually cannot keep my lipstick on for such a long time except if i'm actually like going to like an event so this is what we look like right now and let me just say that i'm honestly very impressed with how much oils i have on my face considering the fact that i used just the backlight uh priming filter um which doesn't look like um it didn't feel like a totally matte primer but it also does hold up so well i don't have as much oils as compared to i like as compared to what i would have if i use my other foundations and i'm just going to be honest about that i don't know if it's the primer or the foundation but together i honestly feel like they give a good hold um with longevity you know i don't need to touch up so much you know and if you've watched my previous i have a, i think i have an old video where i did a wear test the oils was crazy so this is different see and that's it that's literally it this is all i need to do and then everything is back to normal like it's crazy i didn't even have to use powder i just used the beauty blender let me add a little bit of powder i'm gonna take my shower anyway so um there's no point me doing that but yeah with just a little bit of touch up see what we have we have everything kind of back to normal um i just need to reapply my lip and then i'm good to go so oh i love this foundation final review i love the foundation um i love the combo i think that it gives you a good hold this is definitely value for your money this is what i want to see when i'm buying makeup <laughs> you know so this is definitely value for your money um i'm definitely going to recommend these products obviously becca is becca but i'm definitely going to recommend them sometimes high-end products are just high-end for the fact that they are high-end but this is good this holds up well and it's oil skin friendly oily girl friendly so it's approved oily skin approved so take it from me you know how, how much oils that i have at the end of the day so definitely take it from me i love it i absolutely love it oh i absolutely love it. it's just not my shade 
so what i'll do is i'll do a lot more contouring and bronzing when i'm wearing this foundation and try as much as possible to do very light like i won't take as much foundation so that it doesn't like cover up you know um i was editing some of the pictures and i realized that the foundation is really light and also because right now my i'm darker it doesn't really i don't think that yeah i love the foundation <laughs> let me just say that i love the foundation it's something that i'm gonna reuse i'm gonna use 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 i love them i absolutely love them so yeah that's it thank you guys so much for watching this video um um yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you liked it give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that also follow me on all my social media platforms akusia behini across all social media platforms i love you guys so much i'll see you in my next video bye